thank you for your um, contribution. I do thank you for your contribution. And I thank you. Oh. And for this, I thank you. I was feeling blackity 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 since can people do stuff from the heart and they don't have to always give it okay well that 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 brings a different subject i always have had i always feel uncomfortable when i see people do charity work and record it that's what i was saying sometimes i i feel and it may not be the all the time but sometimes i get the feeling that it's disingenuous like there is no need for me to see that you are going down the street feeding the homeless and putting the camera in a homeless person's face uh -huh. I feel very uncomfortable with that. That's in the Bible, I actually. You know. I don't well, need I to love this man. The charity that's work, I, I, put, I don't put on blast because that's that's between me and that person. Like uh -huh. we, um, the girls were talking about, that's somebody's very vulnerable moment at that time. They it's may like not taking want the to be camera into the exam room for your STD results. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I don't need to know that. No, we don't want to know that. You and you know, like uh -huh. to me, that, that rubs me the wrong way when people do that. And maybe everybody, maybe some people are being genuine about it, but when you do that, it mm -hmm. kind of takes away some of the actual, you know. Value of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. value of it. Yeah. When the whole march and everything was going on, everybody was saying, where's Oprah? Where's Gail? And I said, how dare you? Fuck Oprah. How dare you? Well, I know, Amy, but I, said what I, said. I still say, I Wait. still say, how dare anybody say where's Oprah? Oprah been doing it, she's kicking ass and taking numbers for our people and for uh -huh. and time. I know, wait, but she was doing it before it was popular to do. So if she took her time in saying, this is what I'm about to do with this situation, I just don't feel like that attack was necessary. You know what I'm saying? She has put in her work and it's almost like we're Oprah. At. Well, she was trying to get y'all to do some shit. Y'all weren't doing it 35 years ago. So that's why I said I didn't like the attacks on Oprah or Gail. Or any celebrity. Even with Dave Chappelle, somebody said, oh, Dave Chappelle, he had already recorded his situation. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I just think that people can do their thing in their own time. I expressed to a couple people, they say, well, I don't know what to do, David. You know, you always know. And I'm like, use your talent. Just whatever Dave Chappelle does no wrong in my eyes. At all. But Dave I Chappelle does know. Even when you said the TVs had to get out the car. <laughs> I love Dave Chappelle. I love Dave Chappelle. Here, here's here's what I was mad at the TVs. On the flip side. Yeah, everybody's mad at the TVs. Yeah. The TVs it's it's, the it's kind of a like a double edged no, sword as far as like when people are saying something about what's Oprah. <laughs> yeah, it's just like I hear what they're saying that they feel like maybe she hasn't done anything for black people, but on the another way to look at it and when people are saying where's oprah where's gail who are these celebrities is they have a platform that you and i don't have yet so there's certain things about our voices that need to be heard that they can get it out in a way that we can't just yet so i well, think sometimes when people are asking know. where are these people they're uh, they're wondering you know like can you can you speak up because they'll listen to you not that they, you know that they won't listen to us because we can't reach be it say the president of the united states we can't reach be it who's over the top people of who sells all of our clothes in every clothing uh -oh. store you know banks yeah and stuff. so they have I, platforms and you know reach we don't have clout that we don't have just yet so while you are the face of us let's be honest if they mess up in public ad we all messed up so while you're the face unfortunately that's a big burden to bear we kind of need you to speak up because you have certain reach we don't have yet and one day maybe we will and i mean she'll okay, so, exploit black so, people so she might as well be doing something to help them oh. yeah that's understandable but people i appreciated what she put together i appreciated her getting the mares i really feel like she used her platform to say okay i'm gonna but they were putting this stuff together i just really feel like what she did was phenomenal. She did something that no president has ever done by getting all these actual mayors and governors all in one platform during a, during a pandemic, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think that she had to prepare. I think that Dave Chappelle has a big voice. And like he said, he was insulted, but he had already recorded and started working on what he had mm -hmm. to do. But he was like, damn, could you give me an opportunity to do so? That's just like any yeah. crisis happens, somebody hit me up. Well, your poem, mm -hmm. man. 
Mm-hmm. Work. I'm an artist, and I'm not <laughs> writing one for this. But it's it's one of them things where people expect certain things from people. It's like give them a little bit of time. When I think of people who we call, who we technically call the gatekeepers, Oprah is one of the people who we consider the gatekeepers. Mm-hmm. When the situation came out about uh, Michael Jackson, she jumped and had a whole damn symposium talking about, you know, rape and all this type of stuff. So it, it's a firm belief that you never knock nobody down with extent, without extending a hand to help them back up. So right. as quick as you were to jump and do what you did with Michael Jackson, which she was wrong for that, but yeah. you should have turned your ass around when it comes to Black Lives Matter and everything else, and you should have jumped and been ready to do that oh. as well. Let so me, with let Oprah, me. when it came to R. Kelly, you jumped to get that interview because you wanted to be the first. You pushed Gail to get that interview so she could be the first to have their interview. So you should yeah, I got that on. So, oh. But so with Oprah, does she same thing with her in the in the restaurant owner? Does she have to does she have to speak out and say it out loud to to not be doing things behind closed doors? Yes and no. I, I totally agree that you don't have to do it in the open, but also if everything else that you do, you do it in the open, why is it all of a sudden that this situation, oh, you want to do it behind closed doors? But everything. What's your go to move in bed that's guaranteed to give your partner pleasure? Okay. So. <laughs> Oh, so I put one foot right here on my shoulder, the other foot right here on my shoulder. I hold their waist and I go, it's great, it's wonderful. But everything she do is not in the open, though. But But what I'm saying, though, could it be? We find out 20 years later. Because could it be, because you know now, now what we have learned is that a lot of our white friends or constituents or people that we know, they get real uncomfortable when we say the words Black Lives Matter. Mm-hmm. Their whole, your whole conversation yeah. will change. They can say, yeah, that, you know, it's not right with stuff going on, but once you say Black Lives Matter, you can see their whole energy change. Mm-hmm. Whole energy change. So could it be that- I'm about to go do a not, video. Hi, hi, how are you? Black Lives Matter. They hold spiritual <laughs> thing. Well, well, you know, I mean, I mean, all lives matter. You know, just you know, it's not just about black lives. Why, why is it? You know, that whole thing. And it could be that she doesn't want it to hit her pockets because a lot of black artists and a lot of black people in the industry, you know, they've lost a lot of white fans because they support black. Let me, lives. let me, let me shoot Oprah some bell here. And not shoot from Bill Real. She said shoot her from Bill. She <laughs> gonna need it because I heard she on house it. Oh, hold, really? hold on now. Yeah, hold on. Let me let, listen to this. Okay. So now, <laughs> just like we have a platform here, right? And just, and I'm gonna speak into existence. Just like we have a platform that we're gonna grow, and millions of people are gonna hear us around the world, regardless of where we at, because I feel that we all have the power. We have our own independent channels, so and we can make this better. Just like we have that power. She have that power. The only difference is her power is a bit bigger. Let's call it a bit bigger. Mm-hmm. She's connected in places that we are not. The last thing we need to do, for example, and I'm gonna say this from a success standpoint, when you get to that point and that level, you wanna be very careful what you put your hands on, what you support, what you say, and how you mm-hmm. move You wanna make sure that you- Getting all the details before you make a move. Thank you. So you wanna she make didn't sure- didn't do that, that with MJ. She didn't hold do on, it with MJ. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That hold interview on. took two months. You, hey, you had your you had your five minutes of fame. Let me give mine now. Hold on for a second. So look, it, it goes down this way. I now want to go ahead and, and, and openly say, oh, I'm gonna support TDJ's church, which I do personally. But again, I need to know everything about TDJ's first. Okay. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go and support Joe Austin crazy just like that. And the reason why I don't jump out like that out the wagon is because. You need to know your. You need to know who you're dealing with. Who you, you know. again? Oprah might have the power and the ability to move certain things behind closed doors, but again, we can't stop the woman's check because she. You want us to talk for. You don't want her to talk for us. Let her do what she gotta do. 
just like Michael Jordan, just like many other people, they do what they do behind doors for us. Admit the boldest thing you've ever done while you were naked. Give details. What did I walk into? The Real B-Roll Show, where I stay coming for you hoes. <laughs> Period. <laughs> for sure. I went skinny dipping on the beach in Miami. That's dope. Um, what time was it? It was at night. Uh, me and my ex just got through doing some crazy stuff. Were y'all having <laughs> some public fun? You can say that. It was it wasn't planned, it just happened that way. You didn't say yes or no. Yes. Kind sounds, of, sounds like a lot of fun. Of, kind of sort of wash yourself off, you know, washing things off. I know that's right. You better wash it off, child. Not with the salt, though. <laughs> the salt water ain't gonna help. You're gonna, you, actually, salt water is the worst because salt water make you sticky. So you was already sticky. You going back into another sticky situation. That is not good. <laughs> That's not good. That salt water exfoliates your skin, though. It may it gets it all. It it'll exfoliate your skin. I'm just saying you still gonna be kind of you know little little. You, uh, you know how you you know how you feel your body and you feel the dirt on you. You know how you feel <laughs> you know, when you gotta the wash grit. the dirt off. Yeah, the grease. You know you you gonna you gonna still feel it. 